guys, what's up? It's me, Peyton. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a video in my room. Um, probably be I've done a lip sync in here, but uh, it's a little different. It's actually a lot different. Well, I like this kind of camera setup. I just opened my window and um, well, since it's sunny outside today. Anyway, it's election day, so we don't have school, so I wanted to do a video. Um, a couple days ago on Saturday, I did a Recon Mark II, rev I mean, unboxing. I did a little bit of review, but I didn't go, like, in-depth on it. So, in this video, I wanted to do that, um, the good review part for this gun. Hold on, you see the whole thing? Oh, uh, there are people driving around in golf carts, like, everywhere, because we live right behind the golf course. Like, we don't even have a, um, backyard, which sucks, because literally our backyard is taken over by a golf course. But it isn't even our backyard, so that's a thing. Um, anyway, um, so I want to go on an in-depth review on... This gun, starting from front, front to back. Okay, so here's the Recon Mark II. It's a spring-powered blaster. That's very easy to, um, it's to, very easy to use. Um, so let's start from the front. First off, we have a in-strike attachment um, barrel, the front barrel. It doesn't have the little holes on the front to attach more barrels to the front of this. So if you wanted to buy the expansion kit, which gives you some of the of the plain barrels, you can do that and put this on the end because one has an iron sight on it. But there's no ba uh, back sight on this, but you can buy a scope. Um, so there's a tactical rail on the bottom of this. Can you see it? Wait. Uh, yeah, you can now. Okay. So, yeah, we're done with that. Here's the actual blaster, which is pretty cool. I like the color. I like the gray, the orange, and the white. Uh, everywhere. I mean, gray, or gray, orange, white. Yeah, that's what I meant. I don't like gray, orange, white. I just completely mixed up the colors. Anyway, I like the color. Um, So, it, yes, it does have an attachment nozzle in the front right here. Um, here's how you prime the blaster. You you pull this thing back. Also, there's a tactical around the top. You pull it back. There's a jam door to clear all of your necessary jams. Yeah, I have darts loaded. I just shot one at the beginning of the video. Um, anyway, when you have this pulled back, um, you strike the magazine release or it's it's on this side too. I like to hit it on this side. And out pops the six round six dart magazine. Which you insert all six darts in and when you're done you keep that open and you slide it in the correct way. Like that. And then you pull it forward. Mine jams a lot, but yours probably won't, because when I pull it back forward, it kind of, it just doesn't go all the way forward, so you have to kind of shake it to let it go all the way forward. Um, next is the tactical rear right here. There is not one on the other side, which is dumb. That would be cool if there, you could have like two flashlights or two of the machete things, the chainsaws. Um, next is the uh, mag release button. This is in a very comfortable place. So when you're out of darts, you can just do this and then pop it out with your finger. I mean, I'm e I even have small hands, and I can do that because it's so close to the um, trigger and the grip. So, okay, move on. Moving on, you have a the trigger right here, which is pretty nice trigger. I have a dart loaded, that's why I'm not pulling it all the way. Because you can pull it in 
You can pull it in, like up to there. But if you pull it any more, it'll fire. Next, moving on is the grip. A very weird grip. It's actually kind of comfortable, and um, you can kind of, if you want, you can make this like a, a handle if you want. So you could just like go. Yeah, like that. Um, moving on, there's nothing really right here. This is just more mechanism. Uh, lanyard mount or sling mount right there. Here's the um, the stock, which you press these two little levers down. Oh, one on this side. It's it's ambidextrous too, just like the mag release button. If you press one, the other one will go down too. So take the that off. Next, you have the um, the stock attachment point, which of which allows mo most of the um, of the Nerf socks, which is pretty cool. Um, the Rico Mark II stock is really really short, which is kind of annoying, but I mean it doesn't hurt. It looks cooler with the stock because it's like you have a pistol and then you put on the stock. And it's like, haha, suckers. Anyway, this is like the smallest gun I could find with a, uh, with a clip, which is cool. I mean, the strife, of course, but that's battery powered. It takes like three double A. Anyway, moving on to the stock. Stock's pretty cool. Um, you got a pretty smooth part right here. Um, even though it's it's kind of too smooth that when you're trying to aim, it might like slide up like that. Or down like that which is kind of annoying considering it stays onto the blaster pretty well so it would go like this and completely mess up your shooting I have a really uh, rough shirt on right now so it might not slip as much but if you have on like a very silky shirt I wouldn't recommend using the stock but otherwise the stock is pretty small um to me even it's small and I am or eight yeah I'm tiny yeah okay so now I'm going to show you the firing test as soon as I load up all six darts I actually have okay I have six loaded now we're going to shoot at that wall back there okay don't jam while I'm doing this please pray The gun actually comes with six of these, but I only use two of them because they're the only two that I have that are actually, you know, like working. Because the others are like the the cheapo darts. But I do have all six of them. It's not like I threw them all away. I just think it's pretty cool. You can like, I don't know, mix match them. If that makes any sense. I don't know, make a pattern. If you want to, there's really no point in doing that, because you probably won't be doing this in a Nerf War. Just holding them like this. Unless, like, a really secret way, or fast way to reload it, you can just go... And that, that don't really work. I would recommend putting, like, two in at a time. A little faster. But if you have, like, a 35-round drum, like, for the Rampage or something, yeah, that's going to be kind of bad. This thing does not have slam fire, so you can't hold down the trigger and do that. Or, you know, do that. Which sucks. But I probably won't be using this gun in a remote for. Probably right now I probably would. I don't know. I, I really don't know. So right now this is my topic for Nerf 4 because one, it holds... It does not hold the most bullets because my protector does. The one that's slam fire and it doesn't have a trigger. The Air Warriors one. And they they have good darts. So I'd probably use that in the Recon and the Magnus and the Triad probably. And for some reason I don't like the big shot, even though it does shoot hard. It doesn't shoot three like the Magnus. Yeah. Okay. I hope you guys like this review. 
on the Nerf Recon Mach 2. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!